welcome class 5 in our e-learning classes hope you are doing well in my last class we have completed the chapter health and hygiene we are in the health part uh, how many components are there how many kinds of diseases are there what are their preventions all we have discussed along with the vaccines and preventions of the diseases today I'll discuss with you uh, the exercise part, whatever the questions are given in your exercise. So, straight forward, we will come for the <clears throat> exercise part. Refer to page 12. At first, see, first uh, question is given here. Take the correct answers. So, first one is cereals, fruits, potatoes and honey are sources of. Three alternatives are given here, carbohydrate, fats and minerals. As we know, cereals, fruits and potato, honey, these all are good sources of carbohydrate. So the first answer is carbohydrate. Second <coughs> correct answer, which of the following is a non-communicable disease? Three alternatives are here, chicken pox, beriberi, common cold. As we know, Chicken pox and common cold both are communicable diseases and beriberi is a disease due to lack of nutrients. So beriberi is the right answer which is, uh, which is a non-communicable disease. Third question is given here. A person is found to have swelling in the neck region. Which disease is he, she suffering from? Alternatives are given here. Goiter, beriberi, rickets. As we know, uh, beriberi is a uh, lack of, due to lack of nutrients uh, and ricket is due to the lack of vitamin D. So, what kind of disease goiter is? Goiter is due to the lack of iodine. The person who is suffering from the goiter having a swollen neck. So, the correct answer is goiter. Third question is, uh, fourth question is given here. A child's ribs are clearly visible. He is suffering from Kwashiorkor, scurvy and marasmus. We know this is the correct answer is marasmus. In the marasmus, uh, ribs are seen and belly become very uh, swollen or you can say uh, belly comes out, protruding belly. These two symptoms are seen in this disease or marasmus disease. So this is the correct answer. Fifth question is given here. Dengue is spread through air, direct contact and mosquito. As we know, uh, mosquitoes are uh, the reason or the cause of spreading dengue. So, the, this correct answer is mosquito. This is not comes through the air or direct contact. Mosquito is the correct answer. Now, question number B. Fill in the blanks. But before that, I will show you the answers in my written path. So, you see, this one is the paper where I have written here. First, <clears throat> first answer is cereal foods, potato and honey are the source of what? Correct answer is given here. What is that? That is carbohydrate. Number 2. Which of the following is a non-communicable disease? Chicken pox, beriberi and common cold. Answer is beriberi. Third. See the third question. A child, a person is found to have swelling in the neck region. Which disease is he or she suffering from? That is goiter. And fourth one is a child ribs are clearly visible. He is suffering from marasmus. And fifth question is dengue is spread through mosquitoes. So these all five answers you can see it is written here. Write the correct answers.
now at first i will discuss question number b then i'll show you the answers also question number b is fill in the blanks milk butter ghee and chai fruits are some sources of what carbohydrate or fats that is fat because ghee butter these all are good source of fat question number 2 dash helps us to get rid of undigested food so what uh, nutrient is uh, helping us for excretion that is roughage so the second answer is roughage third question is given here third fill in the blank is given here dash diseases do not spread from one person to another and two alternatives are given here communicable non communicable which diseases are not spread from one person to another that is non communicable next flu spread through dash that is air and or water so any disease which are spreading through the uh, viruses these are air the agent is air so the answer is here air is the correct answer fifth fill in the blank is given here dash postures gives us graceful appearance correct or incorrect naturally when we are having the graceful appearance or a good shape of our body when we are um, having or when we are obeying the good posture or the correct posture when we are moving in a correct posture sitting in a correct posture our appearance will become graceful so the answer will be correct posture gives us graceful appearance now the next answer or given here and <coughs> fill in the blanks c all answers are written you can write from your first one is milk butter ghee and dry fruits are source sources of fats second dash help us to get rid of the undigested food that is roughage third one is non communicable diseases do not spread non communicable diseases do not spread from one person to another fourth one is the spread uh, it is spread through air fifth one is correct posture gives us a graceful appearance so see the correct answers and note it down in your book next match the following so match is given here column 1 or a is vitamin a second one is iron third is vitamin c and fourth uh, in table a is proteins and in the b column given scurvy kwashi okkar night blindness and anemia so the vitamin a will match with night blindness number 2 iron will be match with anemia and third vitamin c is matches with scurvy and proteins are um, always due to lack of protein kwashi okkar so the fourth one is the match of b these all are the matching first one is scurvy is 3 kwashi okkar is 4 night nine is 1 anemia 2 these all are the matchings now give two example of each first one is communicable diseases we have to give two examples so that is uh, we can uh, write jaundice cholera corona or covid 19 any kind of uh, two communicable diseases you can write over here that is your own choice but i have given two that is jaundice and cholera now next one is non communicable non communicable diseases so the two examples of non communicable diseases are 
what are they cancer and marasmus so these bo they both are non communicable diseases now there are very short answers uh, we have to write but before that see this picture so when you see this picture uh, i think you can guess the uh, what are the diseases given first this boy is uh, having uh, very lean body and ribs are seen so and belly is fat so this uh, boy is having which disease marasmus and this uh, person's neck region is swollen so this uh, disease is called goiter and third one is uh, this person's or this diseased person's legs are bin and they are very lean and thin and bow shape is forming here so this boy is having uh, bow shaped uh, legs and uh, uh, very, very lean and thin structure that means it is having bending of the uh, bones that means this person is suffering from rickets so these all are about the uh, structure now uh, i will discuss uh, questions which are having very short answers so there are again given name any two diseases that spread through air we know um, the diseases which spread through air are common cold and tuberculosis because they both are coming from the air and they are communicated from the air uh, droplets of the air which uh, which is mixes uh, germs are mixes with the air and they comes to a uh, healthy person next is given the uh, two uh, two examples of uh, diseases which are uh, which are um, having due to direct contact so we can write anything uh, due to direct co contact we uh, we can have ringworms chicken pox measles uh, mumps so these are due to the uh, direct contact now name any two protein rich food we can write anything pulses are there soya beans are there chicken mutton uh, milk eggs so many examples are there we can cite any two example and the question number 3 name the nutrients required by our body to remain healthy as we know we required five main uh, nutrients which are very much needed for our body for the proper proper growth they uh, those are protein vitamins carbohydrates and uh, fat and minerals these five uh, nutrients are very much needed for our body next question is given name name any two method of food preservation there are so many uh, methods are given in your book uh, which are using for the pre uh, for preserving of our food for the short preserving we can use refrigerator and there are uh, other methods for keeping the food items for long time like canning and uh, dehydrating salting um any kind any examples you can cite here or you can write the name of any examples so i'm showing you the uh, answers in in written form that is answers answer the questions very shortly name any two diseases that is spread through air write down common cold tuberculosis you can change your answer also and the direct contact ring worm and chicken pox third question is given name any two protein rich food soya beans and chicken you can write anything milk uh, egg you can vary your answer okay now third question is given here name the nutrients required by our body to remain healthy we know five nutrients are very much needed they are carbohydrates protein fats vitamins and minerals so you have to write all five nutrients next one is name any two method of food preservation canning salting dehydration pickling so many methods are given here 
you can opt any two or you can write any two so these all uh, for today and next uh, lesson i will explain you or i will give you the answers of the long questions until that stay at your home goodbye